So today's video is going to be me showing you how I contour for a night out or any kind of special occasion. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my skin using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It makes your skin feel like velvet, makes your foundation last all day and night long. It's just absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go in first and apply that. Next, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm using this foundation because I am going to be using cream products as well as powder products to contour. So I really just want a light coverage foundation to even out my skin tone and then I'm going to get all my coverage from the concealer and foundation that I use to contour and highlight. I prefer using a light coverage foundation because I find that if you use a full coverage foundation plus cream contour products, you can look a little cakey. So that's why I'm using a light coverage foundation. Next, I'm going to start highlighting. And to highlight, I'm gonna be using my NYX HD Concealer. You guys know I love this stuff. This is in the shade beige. It is pretty light considering it is beige. I kind of thought that it would be a little bit darker, <laughs> but it's perfect for highlighting. So I'm gonna be highlighting up under my eyes in the typical triangle form and down the center of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow. A little extra step that I like to take is to highlight from the ear to about half an inch away from my mouth. I really like to highlight here, not entirely sure why, I just really like the way that it looks. Once I'm done highlighting, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in the shade D5. I don't know why I just really, really like this shade for contouring, so I'm going to apply that to my forehead, my temples, the hollows of my cheeks, and my jawline. I'm also going to be taking some extra steps like applying it up under my lip and I'm also going to be applying this down the sides of my nose. This is going to be the start of how I make my nose look smaller. I do have a pretty wide bridge and then I'm just going to take it down to my nostrils and then just kind of shape those out. Next, I'm going to go in with a duo fiber stippling brush and just blend out the contour shade.
Next, I'm gonna be taking a makeup sponge that is damp, and I'm gonna use that to blend out anywhere that I have concealer placed. Now, I like to use a brush for the contour because I find that a brush is a little bit more controlled. You have more control over where it goes, and so I like to use a brush to blend out the, the contour. Um, and then I like to use a sponge to blend out the concealer because you're gonna want that to cover a little bit more area since I did use a light coverage foundation. Then once I'm done blending out all of my liquid and or cream products, I go in and start setting with powders. The first powder that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder and Macchiato. This is a really light shade and basically it's gonna serve as a base. My contouring is essentially very gradient. It kind of fades from light to dark. It's very soft, it's not very harsh. So I like to start with a lighter shade and then I will gradually move into darker shades. Once that layer is down, I'm going to start sculpting, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in Earth. I love this shade. It's very, very warm toned. So taking my Sonia Kashuk Contour Brush, I'm going to start really sculpting out those edges and make them look really, really nice and sharp. Then I'm going to go in and blend them out so they're not as harsh, but I do want to get a really nice defined contour. Usually after the second shade is down, I like to go in with a face powder that is my shade and just kind of blend over everything and make sure everything isn't harsh and it's nice and blended. Once I soften everything up with a face powder, I like to go in with the darkest shade. And here I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in Espresso, and I take this on an eyeshadow blending brush, and I blend this at the highest point of my forehead and temples, and in the deepest part of my cheeks, and you will see me kind of blending that out. I just use the smallest strokes possible and just start blending that out to really sculpt out the face. Once I'm done with that, I take a Kabuki brush with no product on it. This is just my e.l.f. Cosmetics Kabuki brush. I love this brush. And I just go around my entire face and blend this out. This takes some time, so if you think you're done blending, blend more. Just keep on blending and it will start to look more natural. I would Next, going in with espresso on a Coastal Scents flat tip shadow brush, 
This brush is absolutely perfect for sculpting out the nose. I'm just gonna be taking this down the bridge and sculpting out my nostrils. And then I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it out. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 110 Porcelain and I'm going to use that to set my highlight shade. Then I'm going to take that same powder on a concealer brush and I'm going to run it over the edges of the nose contouring that I did and that's just going to give it a more feathered natural looking effect. <laughs> For a more natural contour you could stop here but I like to shimmer so I'm going to be taking my Baby Doll Beauty Cosmetics highlighter in moonshine. You guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. I'm going to be taking this on my nose mostly focusing on the tip my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then once I apply blush, I'm gonna go back in and apply it to my cheekbones. For blush, I'm using Copper Tone by MAC, and it's just a very, very natural looking color. So I'm going to be applying this with a duo fiber brush. I find that this gives it a more natural airbrushed look. So I'm going to be applying that and then going over my cheekbones with my highlighter. Of course, once I'm done with that, I will move on to using my Kabuki brush to blend everything together, making sure there's no harsh lines, and then I move on to eye makeup and I'm good to go. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye. This is what I usually do after my foundation. What is that? Spray it on. Blue? Not that close. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Close your eyes. I'm mad that you only sprayed like this part of my face, so like the rest of my foundation is gonna. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for waiting until my mouth was closed. I appreciate that.